Hey guys, just got back from Paragon last night. Spent a weekend in uh, Tennessee and about a week traveling to and back and forth. 3,500 miles towing there. Um, it was the first time I towed anything long distance. The Acadia haul great. Got 14 and a half miles a gallon. That's doing 60, 60 65 miles an hour in uh, drafting semi trucks get back and a uh, fall sprung up on us and got to clean up all these pine needles and all the dockers are fuzzy but I, I digress I want to go over the uh, securing the armax to the trailer I got these uh, Jaco straps at the last minute they come with this bag they come with uh, axle straps Come with nice velcro ties and uh, has a locking feature which is almost useless but you're supposed to be able to lock your uh, straps in place not that anybody could cut them afterwards so it's kind of useless but this is how i secured it um, i did go to harbor freight and get some of these axle ties and I just went to the lower A-arm. Let me get it shot from the front here. Maybe it'll look better. Went to the lower A-arm. Up and around the tire. And I almost forgot the most important feature is it has these retention clips. If you guys don't have retention clips on your hooks, uh, upgrade because they're a lifesaver. If your loads come loose, at least your your straps won't come loose. These are 1.5, 1.6 inches. And initially I was having a quandary on how to secure these because my tie down points are so close that I didn't have enough slack to properly tension this down. So that's why I ran it around the tire. I tried to run it across the center. And I've only had, uh, after initial 100 miles, maybe do one or two clicks after the weight has shifted. And I see a lot of guys tying to the upper suspension or even here. And this is great for towing. But for securing your rig, getting, and you've probably heard this before, I'm not the first to say this, getting your straps as close to the tire as possible um, helps your suspension do the work for when you go over bumps, your straps won't loosen up. So, I see a lot of guys have e-track systems and that's great, I'm not knocking that but I'm able to secure the tire without actually buying tire specific bonnets. Just using axle straps around the lower A arm, close to the wheel, and then wrap it around the tire to my anchor point. Now if I wanted to do this anchor point here, I could just go to the front of the, the A arm. But with my straps, I'm doing front's pulling forward, back's pulling back. And the back, I did the same thing. Now, let me go back to the front for a second. I don't have the A-arm guards in the front because they're out of stock. But you should be able to still get your strap through there with them installed at some point. With the back, have the A-arm guards and that's where I went to get this out of the way this so went to there wraps around the top A-arm brake line not too worried about it and then wraps around Try and go to the center line of the wheel and down to my anchor point. 
also I'm guilty of this always make sure your uh, your ratchet lever is always flush and locked in so that's securing your uh, your arm axe to your trailer a lot of guys thought I was too far forward for bias but I, I never had any swaying and my true suspension really isn't isn't compressed too much jack's pretty or the trailer's pretty level I can't speak enough about having dual axles it's so much more stable this used to be an RV converted to a trailer it got blown over and destroyed but the frame was still good so these nice uh, these are really nice because I can cinch down the, str the straps and it just pulls it down without having to mess with it or retie it so let's securing the trailer you want to get as close to the uh, to the wheel as possible and you don't need tire bond. I mean, if you buy tire bond, it's all, all more power to you. But you don't need tire-specific bonnets to achieve that effect. And you want to have opposing forces. I don't want to tie this both in a forward direction. Okay. Another thing, uh, another topic is cleaning your undercarriage. Okay. I have 4,000 miles. I'm at my past my no I'm almost at a year anniversary and I haven't really cleaned this since last I I, I took a hose to it but I haven't um, really thoroughly cleaned it but I get a lot of compliments on my vehicle well half of them are compliments half of them are insults because a lot of guys don't think I take my rig off road because it's so clean. That's the way I like my stuff. But I haven't really thoroughly washed this and those look brand new. Plastics look good. I'll get the front here. See how clean that looks? And uh, I just started using this mixture. It's called Booty Juice. And it's a mixture of simple green or that purple stuff. Basically your favorite degreaser and laundry detergent. And it's supposed to be a 50-50 mix. I'm not even using this full strength. I have maybe half a bottle of um, simple green, maybe one or two laundry loads worth of um, liquid detergent. I threw some Dawn liquid in there just to boot. I don't use this on the paint because that could um, strip wax, even though it's not wax, it's ceramic. But you could still attack it. But for your underbody, this stuff is great. You get all the, the loose caked on mud off and then you spray it down and then let it sit. And I don't use a pressure washer, I'm just using hose pressure. And it does a really good job of getting that uh, the mud stain. You know how you got that, the, the mud stains in your rubber? It does a good job of getting that off. And so I'm gonna have to change uh, change camera positions for this next part. So I'm gonna pause right here. Okay, so while at Brimstone, I had a chance to look at uh, Greg's Armax. I noticed that removing his Adventure Pro, that it was nearly impossible compared to mine. And even on mine, this right side, it's barely rubbing. On his, it was this was in the way. And all it takes is a millimeter. And I think this is why the majority of you are having a major problem 
removing and installing your Adventure Pro. If this edge is touching your Adventure Pro, it prevents these tabs from fully seating. And you know, you add the more force you add, the, the more bad things are going to happen. You should be able to push on this button, and this should this should rock in really fairly easily. This mine's in there. Okay, see how easy that is. Um, if this edge is interfering with you installing your Adventure Pro, there's a couple things you can do. The easiest thing is to file this away. That's my last recommendation. Um, you can, um, in my other video, I show how you, you can get to the back of these bolts on this cradle. I would not remove the screws, but just loosen them up. Take a piece of film or whatever, Make sure you jam, put some pressure so this goes to this way, and retighten your bolts. The other thing you can do is um, loosen your bezel and try and shift it to the right to get you more clearance. You have a 10 millimeter bolt here. So if you're having clearance issues here, fix them. If you have to take it back to the dealer because you don't feel comfortable, comfortable flying. But this is something you can do yourself. So either file this edge off, um, loosen the bolts in your cradle, shift it to the left so you have more room on the right. And um, I think that'll solve 99% of you guys who are having cradle, cradle issues tr installing your, reinserting your Adventure, Adventure Pro. So. See how easily that goes in and out? I mean, mine rocks a little bit because I have just a little bit of interference there. But I have enough clearance to where mine goes in and out easily. And if you do file it, I mean, it's covered by the bezel. So, you know, only you know about it. So, I just loosened this up, jam, put pressure against the, the bezel and tightened it. And it gave me enough clearance to where this, it's not rubbing as much as it was. So my cradle's easier to come install. So try, try loosening the bolt, shoving this over and see if that's enough for you. So that's the uh, tips for today. And please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel.